How do I, 22 female. Tell my mother, 53 female. I have a milk allergy. So I actually have told her but she refuses to believe it. She won't say anything to my face but when I visit she tries to trick me into eating something that has milk in it. This started about a year ago when I realized that all milk products would give me really bad stomach pain. It was so bad that I went to the hospital multiple times because I thought something was seriously wrong with me but it turns out it was just a non-life-threatening milk allergy. When I told my family I was no longer drinking milk no one believed me and thought I was just on a diet. My dad eventually came around when he realized I was avoiding all my favorite foods with milk and is now considerate of it if we go out or I come over. My mom has just refused to believe it at all but pretends to be on board when I'm talking to her. Every Christmas, birthdays, Easter she would give me dark chocolate, which still has milk so I can't have, but after telling her about the allergy she only buys me milk chocolate. After giving it to me she will watch me for 20-30 minutes and see what I do with it, usually I just put it away for my boyfriend, and then she will make a big announcement, oh I forgot that's what you aren't eating it you have an allergy. It's happened every time she has given me a gift after the allergy. Most recently I overheard her talking to my grandmother in the kitchen trying to convince her to put milk in my food or to not make me anything milk-free because I'm not allergic. I'll give some history as well. I was diagnosed by my family doctor at six months old as lactose intolerant. My mom used to bring it up all the time that this was hard on her because she didn't want to buy formula since breast milk was free but thankfully I grew out of it at one year old. Growing up I always had stomach issues and pain and went to multiple doctors to figure it out. After a few years I told them I was fine because I was sick of going through all these tests and just hid it for a while. Bring milk free has been the only thing that helped me and now I finally have no more pain and I feel so much better. I did not talk to a doctor about it yet so there is no official diagnosis. I just don't trust my mom anymore and I'm not sure how I can make her see that my allergy is real. Ma'am, I have a milk allergy, and it's pretty severe. It's not lactose intolerance, it's an actual allergy where my body reacts very negatively to dairy and I've been trying to manage it. I know you don't believe it, and you've been trying to sneak dairy into my food. This is no different than trying to poison me. And equivalent is me putting arsenic or lead in your food. Going forward I won't be eating a single food item that you've made, touched or handled. I'll be buying or bringing my own food when I visit from now on. Hopefully in a few months to a year you'll be willing to apologize and we can discuss things. So. Dot you never outgrew the lactose intolerance. That's what I'm seeing in the history you wrote. According to my doctors, an allergy is when you react to it with the swelling, trouble breathing, stuff like that. An intolerance is when your body has other symptoms, GI pain, diarrhea, vomiting, headache, etc., but never gets to the point of swelling and trouble breathing. I have some true allergies, and then I have more intolerances. What you describe sounds like you never outgrew the intolerance. What an awful mom. It's boundary time. Refuse to eat at her house. Bring your own food. Tell her it's because you can't trust her. If she keeps it up, start restricting access. I suspect this isn't the only problem you have with your mother. Are there other areas where she has trouble differentiating you from her? Frankly, your mom has been hitting you since you were a baby. She's been holding this resentment for two decades. That may be the source, you rejected her at six months and she's been holding it against you ever since. I know this sounds preposterous but it's quite possible. You can't make her believe you. You can only protect yourself. That may mean space. I'm a fight type and I would read her the riot act for fucking my gut up and being childish about it. I was diagnosed by my family doctor at six months old as lactose intolerant. Thankfully I grew out of it at one year old. Growing up I always had stomach issues and pain and went to multiple doctors to figure it out. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and guess that you never actually outgrew it. Boyfriend, 35M. Bought a flat I, 32F, did not like. Should I end things now? This might be a long story but I'll try to make it as short as possible. I've been with my boyfriend for four years, we live together for almost as long as we have been together, we both have good jobs. We talked about buying a flat together last year, we both wanted to buy, but I am the kind of person who likes to take their time and so we looked for a couple of months, we did not really find something we both liked until we kinda paused while keeping an eye on the market. He had liked a flat in the past which I thought was not good after visiting it. I have many reasons why I think it's not good in my criteria. 
Anyhow, few months ago we had a little conflict over something else and we ended up not talking to each other for a few days. After we reconciled he told me he had made an offer on that flat, which surprised me but well. I thought it's his money and I definitely wouldn't have bought this with him. Also the price significantly dropped since he had initially seen it so I thought it was lucky I made him wait. Now. It's been a few months and I can't shake the feeling I have been betrayed here. Not only have I told him several times how I think it's a bad flat, but I also told him I wouldn't move there or compromise about the place where I live, which he somehow ignored and went ahead with the transaction. He has tried to convince me to move with him, and considering my resistance he told me I would not have to pay anything towards his mortgage. Since things have been tense, he is trying to patch things up. He also said the reason why he made the offer was that he thought we would break up over that incident few months ago. But then, he still had the opportunity to withdraw his offer, which he did not. This is the part where I am confused. If you know you want to be with someone and build a life together, don't they get a say in these decisions? Also, I do want to buy a flat, and I don't see how it makes sense to both have a big mortgage instead of buying something nicer together. Anyway, I am considering ending things at this stage. He said he can come live in my flat once I buy it, but it still sounds ridiculous to me. My flat is likely to be small with what I can afford alone. Thoughts? I think it's more than the flat. You seem hesitant to move forward with someone who makes big choices on their own. It's totally fine to leave a relationship, when you don't feel like you have a voice in the big choices. IDK. It really sounds like a, my way or the highway, thing with op. The real question. Is what you want in a flat realistic for how much you can afford? Any couple can find a flat they both agree on, in their desired area, with unlimited money. Are you being realistic? Well, if you end up leaving, his flat is going to stay and you are not. Info. If you don't mind what's the reason for not wanting to live in his newly bought flat?